Hello Libra, welcome back to Mystic Unicorn Tarot. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. First and foremost, a big shout out goes out to you guys, um, especially the new subscribers to the channel. Um, this channel is quickly becoming your channel. I am not gonna lie, you guys. Um, I receive more views and more subscribers from the Libra Collective or at least I have been at this point, you guys have been consistently showing up here on the channel, which to me means that I've tapped into something for you guys. Um, and I am very happy to continue to be of service to you in this way. Um, and so because of that, because of the dominant, the, the dominance and the predominance of your energy um, showing up here on the channel, I am going to be focusing more on you guys, devoting more time and attention to focusing on the Libra Collective because that seems to be where the messages are needed the most, or at least that seems to be who I'm connecting with the most. So welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for being here. Um, and I really truly appreciate you, yeah? So um, I have a bonus reading for you guys here. I wasn't really, I wasn't really planning on doing a reading for you today. Um, I am in a bit of an energy, an energetic process of figuring out how I can bring more readings to you more frequently. What do I do about that? Do I do it at certain intervals during, during the week? Do I just give you a weekly reading just like everything else? Or do I, wait, I'm, I'm, do I wait until I'm inspired? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. But today, um, I got inspired. So I woke up this morning and I did my, my meditations and my yoga and all that kind of stuff. And as you guys can see here on my table, I have um, a tapestry that one of my very, very dear friends bought me a few years ago. Um, it is a bit tattered, but <laughs> well, that's okay. But on this tapestry here, it is of the Wheel of the Zodiac. Um, as you can kind of see here. And so I was sitting in this room meditating. I had just finished yoga and I was connecting to myself, my higher self, God, source, creator, and the collective. And I was just open to receiving what I needed or what spirit needed me to do today for the collective. And um, I had already settled on doing a reading for the fire signs. Okay. And then, but then... Um, I opened my eyes and the and I was just I just so happened to be sitting right where I was facing my table here okay and if you I can you guys see can you see yes you can kind of see okay so Libra you're right here um, look to the left of your screen hi there's my hand right there this is Libra this is you right here and there's more to this design if you want to see um, see look it actually it has figures here. Uh, female figures in depictions of the signs, right? So Libra, there you are. And I opened my eyes and I was looking directly at your energy here. Like it literally is kind of like perfectly centered in my table. And when I opened my eyes, there you were. And as soon as I saw your sign, I heard a song from Taylor Swift that um, it's off the album 1989, which is absolute, one of my absolute favorite albums of hers. I never really used to be a Taylor Swift fan until 1989 came out. And now I love her. Like I have such respect for her. I mean, I did, I always did, but I wasn't really into her thing when she first came out. But I always had respect for her because she's a brilliant songwriter, all right? And she's very successful at it. She's very good at it. And she's consistent with it. Like, <laughs> props to Homegirl, right? But um, 1989 is absolutely one of my favorite albums of hers. And that kind of really put me on her team. Um, and it's the song um, Wildest Dreams. Um, but as soon as I opened my eyes and I saw your your energy, your sign here, I started to hear that song in my head. Uh, Say you remember me standing in a nice dress, staring at the sunset, babe. Red lips and rosy cheeks. Say you'll see me again, even if it's just in your wildest dreams. Uh, uh. That song came to mind. And... Um, I hadn't heard that in a very long time. I will say I was out, I believe it was yesterday and I was running errands and I was at some store somewhere. And I think that song came on. I know a Taylor Swift song came on, but it was a song that I had not heard. I don't even remember hearing 
um, in mainstream, like on the radio or anything, it was off the same album. I'm not even sure it was Wildest Dreams is what I heard, it, but it doesn't matter. The only reason I, I mentioned that is because it would make more sense if that song popped into my head if I had heard it recently. I'm not sure I did. It doesn't matter because that song wasn't in my head last night when I went to sleep, yesterday at all. It wasn't in my head this morning even until I looked, until I looked at your energy, okay? So, that's what we're gonna be talking about here. Um, that was a really long-winded way of me getting to the point. <laughs> Five minutes, okay, but you get it. Um, so I wanna channel this message for you here. I don't have any cards on the table yet. I'm going to get into cards, but I want to take some time to really focus on this energy and channel what it is I can get first, and then we'll pull cards on it. But obviously, there seems to be some sort of energy, Libra, of either you or a person that you're connected to letting go. Excuse me, guys, I'm about, hold, wait, hold on. I'm sorry, hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, uh, somebody is letting go here. Predominantly, it feels like it's the Libran, okay? Um, but take it as it resonates. Uh, you know, Libra, it may be someone that you're connected to that is letting go, but I'm, I'm, Spirit is telling me dominant, predominantly, it's the Libran energy that is letting go of some sort of situation or some sort of connection, either within your love life or just with, within your family too. Um, ooh, okay, so some of you are letting go of family ties. But why are you letting go of this? There's a, there's a strong level of maturity here. I feel like you're starting to understand the nature of the relationship that you've been involved in. Whatever this relationship is for you, either it has run its course and you are recognizing that the end is near, that the end is nigh, that it's about to come to a close. And so you are accepting that energy. Okay. Or you're starting to recognize what the situation is or what the situation has been between you and someone else. Uh, I just heard a fire sign, but I'm also seeing Scorpio. I don't know why I just saw, saw Scorpio, but um, some of you are dealing with or are involved to. I'm hearing she is engaged to a Scorpio. Whoa. Okay, so somebody is engaged to a Scorpio here. But... Um, you're recognizing the nature of this relationship, okay? And for some reason, that's causing you to want to let go. But for some of you, I, I, I'm getting that you, it's not even that you want to let go. It's just that you have to let go. You have to let go because you recognize the nature of the relationship of the situation. And either it's not what you want, or you recognize that it's not going to be what you want. You recognize that you're not going to get where you need to go, or you're recognizing the toxicity, toxicity in the situation. And like I said, there's, did I say this? Maybe I didn't say this, but there's a strong level of maturity coming online here or being expressed in this situation. And that's where you're kind of like, holy shit, I gotta let go of this. Okay. Um, let's talk about this. I'm, I'm wanting to pull cards now. This is the, uh, this is the Crystal Visions Tarot deck, yeah? Five shuffles here. So what's going on? What's going on with this situation for my Librans? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and possibly even Jupiter. Let's say that too. I'm, I'm feeling inclined to say that. So Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, maybe even Jupiter. Let's go. What's going on for Libra at this time? Say you'll remember me. Say you'll remember me. Standing in a nice dress, staring at the sunset, babe. There is some sort of realization there is an acceptance here there is an acceptance here that th that time is up there ooh. what's going on for libra at this time please spirit what's going on what is this situation four of cups is the first card wow okay six of swords one last card at least what's going on for libra at this time three of jesus christ three of cups libra Spirit is saying get more. Okay, three more cards then, please. What's going on for Libra? What's going on for Libra at this time? 
That's an, okay. All of these are reversed? No, take them upright. Knight of Wands, High Priestess. Oh my God. Seven of Cups, the Magician, and the Star. Overall energy is, damn. Okay, the Five of Cups also wanted to come out. I'm going to place this next to the overall energy, but the overall energy here is the Ace of Pentacles. All right, Libra. What I want to say is that you do, in fact, have something new. Whether this is a new partner, okay, Ace of Pentacles, whether this is a new offer, a new commitment, a new partner, or this is just a new reality. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with me, for all, or those of you that are familiar with me, you'll recognize this, but I often see the Ace of Pentacles as a seed, a seed to be planted. Um, and what I'm getting with this Libra is that you actually, you absolutely do have something new, okay? Whether in your life, some of you have an actual new potential partner, a new mate, whatnot, whatever, or this is just a figurative spe uh, seed. The thing that I'm getting the strongest for you here, Libra, is that this Ace of Pentacles is a new reality you would like to create for yourself. And encapsulated within this seed are the lessons that you have learned with a specific individual or just in love in general. Although I do want, I do feel like for many of you, this is a specific individual. And that, that comes from <laughs> all of the readings that I've been doing for you guys for the last two months, I want to say, maybe even three months. But um, you all, contained within the seed are all the lessons that you have learned that are getting, that are going to lead you to the reality of your dreams or what it is you truly want for your life at this time, okay? Five of Cups obviously is talking about that grieving process, the letting go of, the release, okay? Some of you are pretty sad about this. I'm not going to say that there aren't emotions involved. You aren't emotionless. But it depends. Uh, this is a big Libra collective reading. So you could find yourself anywhere from feeling super elated and happy that you're moving on, that you have this new seed to plant, to being super down and depressed because you know you have to leave this behind. Place yourself wherever in your life that it fits. But that Five of Cups energy is very, very fitting. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's start here. Four of Cups. Six of Swords, Three of Cups. Now, many of you know that this situation does in fact involve a third party. It does. Now, that's not for everyone. However, predominantly, I'm trying to, I'm really trying to figure out, I'm trying to see what does this Three of Cups represent other than a third party situation. For some of you, this might be platonic. This might, for some of you, this may just be within your interpersonal relationships, your friends or whatnot, whatever. With that said, some of you might want to watch the fire sign reading that, I, that I'm releasing the same day as I'm releasing this reading for you guys, because that's kind of what we were talking about for the fire signs. Um, check that out. Maybe you do have a fire placement or maybe you are connecting with a fire or connected with a fire sign in which that would resonate for you. It doesn't matter. Um... The Three of Cups also represents some sort of camaraderie, meeting of the minds, seeing eye to eye with someone. You're no longer, oh, okay. So either the Three of Cups represents a third party situation for some of you, that is what it represents. For others of you, either it rep also represents this aspect or this is the aspect that it represents instead of it being a third party situation. But the, excuse me, you guys, I'm so sorry if you heard that. Um, uh, the Three of Cups can represent some sort of hive mind mentality. Um, it can represent people aligning with each other on terms of what it is they agree with or what it is they align with or identify with. That doesn't always have to be bad, doesn't necessarily have to be bad, um, but it can represent situations that are low in vibration. Okay, it can represent a sort of us against the world type of situation sometimes. I'm not necessarily saying that that's what this is here, but it could be. 
Again, this is a big old collective reading. So place yourself wherever on the spectrum it find, you find yourself to naturally fit, okay? But for some of you, this actually is you releasing a level of um, identifying with a karmic partner. A meeting of the minds with a sort of maybe I guess who you're seeing now at this point as you as you move away from the situation seeing six of swords uh, no longer identifying or having a meeting of the minds with this person or maybe these people and for some of you here I'm feeling like you actually towards the end of the relationship or the end of this situation you actually forced yourself in certain ways, or maybe completely, totally, to align with this person or these people in terms of a way of thinking, in terms of a belief system. And you did that in order to stay in this relationship. That no longer works for you. Four of Cups. You don't want to be involved with that any longer. And actually, it's very, it's very important. Sorry, guys, I hit the mic, uh, hit the camera here. It's very important that it, I used this deck specifically because it's this deck that has this the only interpretation of the Four of Cups that I've seen in this way. Typically, in the Four of Cups, the individual in this card is focused on the other three cups that they have, and there's another cup that is being presented to them very much in the Ace of Cups type of way as in the universe, you know, making this cup appear from a cloud or out of thin air, right? But the person in this card is either rejecting that cup or is not paying attention to it. Often the Four of Cups can represent a missed opportunity because of that, right? But in this deck, the Crystal Visions deck, this person is focused on one singular cup, not the other three. And it's very important for somebody that is resonating with this reading. It's very important as to why I was guided to choose this deck, because it's that three of cups energy here that you are no longer focused on. So either you are no longer focused on this situation from a third party aspect, requiring or hoping, praying or thinking that this person is going to come around and leave the other person and come to you or the, the person is no longer going to keep you in a third party situation or not. Excellent. I like that. Or and maybe it's a combination of both, but or you are no longer identifying with this person. I'm hearing misery loves company, kind of. That's more of a five of pentacles energy, but okay. That could be where this hive mind mentality comes from. There is a lack mentality that you were identifying with this person or maybe choosing or re forcing yourself to identify with in terms of your relationship with this person. And you're no longer identifying with that. You're leaving that behind. And instead you're focused on the ace of cups, the cup of love that the universe would be presenting to you or whatever new opportunity, point of view, or new understanding that you're being presented with, I guess I want to say, Libra, okay? Next, you have the Knight of Wands with the High Priestess. So, I yes, I do feel like you're on a new adventure. Knight of Wands. Now, I will say, that some of this energy, there is a little bit of sorrow involved with this Knight of Wands here, indicative of that Five of Cups. I'm not saying that you guys are completely emotionless, okay? I'm not gonna say that. I do, I, I, I will, oh geez, I'm so sorry you guys, I keep hitting the camera. I do want to say that I feel like you're way more enthusiastic about what it is you're moving forward towards at this time. Even though there is a little bit of a twinge of heartbreak involved, you know, having to let go of a certain connection with someone that you were hoping and praying was gonna work out. And you know what, you guys, what I'm feeling for your energy here, and I really like where you are in terms of this, because this is very rational, okay? Very, very rational of you. But there may even still be a little twinge of maybe this still can work out. But you know what? That doesn't even matter at this point. Because honestly, you just don't want to be in this position any longer. You understand what it is you need to understand at this point. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. You know you have a new opportunity. You have a new seed that you want to plant. 
And that, like I said, that new seed is encoded with all of the things that you've learned either in this situation or up until this point that has gotten you an understanding of what it is you truly want in your life. And so now you are inspired to move forward towards that. Even though there's a little twinge of sadness here, maybe that could have worked out and maybe it still could work out, but you know what? It's just not worth it for me to stay in this situation any longer. That's what I'm picking up from your energy here, Libra. And that is excellent. You are listening to your higher self here. You are listening to the universe's guidance. You are listening to your heart, the high priestess. You're listening to your intuition. And very much like this star energy here, you don't necessarily know how you're going to get there or when you're going to get there or by what means or how, like what not, whatever. But you know that you are going to manifest something new. You're going to step out of the confusion, seven of cups to the magician and the star. You're going to manifest something new for yourself. Okay. So that brings us back to the lyrics of that song. Say you'll remember me. Standing in a nice dress, staring at the sunset, babe. Red lips and rosy cheeks. Say you'll see me again, even if it's just in your wildest dreams. See, many of you know that you're never going to see this person again. But you know what? Oblige me. Tell me you'll see me again. Even though we know this is the end, we know that we're never, we're probably never gonna see each other again. Maybe, maybe we'll, we'll run into each other, you know, X amount of time down the road and it's just, it'll be, just be serendipitous, blah, blah, blah. But like, this is done. We know this is done. I know this is done. I know for me, this needs to be done. Okay. This is beautiful, Libra. I really, really like this for you. I will say I, somebody might be crying right now because I feel, I feel the sorrow, I feel the pain. But the reason why you're crying or the reason why you may end up crying because of the message that's coming through here is because the realization is setting in and you're accepting it. That's why you're crying because it's settling in and you're accepting it. This is a good thing, okay? Allow yourself to cry. Allow yourself to cry, okay? Allow yourself to accept this. Allow yourself to go through this grieving process, okay? Okay, Libra. Um, uh, I wanna clarify some things here. Let me give this five shuffles. Let's clarify some things for Libra, please. You see me in hindsight, tangled up with you all night, burning it down. Someday when you leave me, I bet these memories follow you around. <laughs> oh man, this is so relevant. All right, I want to talk about the Five of Cups here. Well, not, not, well, no. I don't really want to talk about the Five of Cups. We don't have to talk about the Five of Cups anymore because it feel like, feels like that's just going to make you cry more um, and that's going to be needless. We don't have to do that. I want to talk about the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why? Okay, well, look, overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Six of Wands so far. You're starting out with a victory here. That's a good thing, Libra, okay? But uh, clarify the Four of Cups, please, Spirit. What's the nature of this Four of Cups for Libra? The, damn, guys, you can't make it up. The king of swords, dude. This is clear and objective thinking, okay? This is like, you see it clearly. You know what the situation is. You know what it has been up until this point, and you know what it's going to be moving forward. I mean, there's no denying it. Clear and objective point of view, okay? You just don't want to be involved with this anymore because you see it clearly. You know exactly what this is. You know what it has been and you know what it's going to be. And it's just not worth it. I, I, sw I swear. I swear, you guys. Look at this. Seven of Pentacles to the world. I mean, this is a true... This is... This is... Libra, this is a true level of sanity. Okay? 
This is, if you have been, if at some point in this situation, anybody had been able to say, you're fucking insane, okay? You can take that and you can reverse it because you're no longer in that energy, all right? The seven of pentacles can often represent the definition, Einstein's definition of insanity. I say this all the time. Doing something the same way over and over and over again, but expecting a different result. At this point here, Libra, like I said, you know what this is. Seven of Pentacles. You know what this is. You know what it's been all along and you know what it's going to be moving forward. Thus, it's time to bring it to an end, the world. For logical reasons, all because you know what this harvest is going to bring you. Damn. Damn, damn, look at this Libra. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is death. Five, five, five on the counter. I mean, come on Libra. This is absolutely beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful, okay? Next, I wanna clarify this Three of Cups. What's this Three of Cups energy for Libra here? Hive mind mentality. Yes, I am hearing that. Six of Wands. Nine of, ooh, three of cups. What's this three of cups? Six of wands, nine of wands. The knight of pentacles reversed. Holy shit. Spirit says that's enough. I'm going to leave it there. Overall energy is the high priestess. Okay. Um, so this three of cups energy absolutely was a level of somebody here. I want to say sticking with the status quo. Um, either this relationship between you and this person or these people, at one point you guys saw eye to eye with each other, but then you grew out of that. Or what I am picking up for some, picking up on for some of you is this is a level of um, enabling because maybe you actually never really saw eye to eye with this person, but you were just so enamored with or so wrapped up in the love or in the fit love. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to actually call that real true love. And that may actually be what is in part of what's encapsulated in this ace of pentacles, this new seed that you're planting for yourself. You have an, an understanding of what true love really is at this point. Okay. But this is a level of enabling here. Even if you didn't quite see eye to eye with this person, you accepted their beliefs just so that you could be in alignment or in lockstep with them. You have the six of wands, the nine of wands, and the knight of pentacles in reverse. The Six of Wands can be a victory, but the Six of Wands can also be an energy of keeping up appearance to make everything seem like it's okay. Nine of Wands is telling me that something about this situation was not right. Nine of Wands is giving me some, uh, uh, giving me a level of resistance here, okay? Um, for, like I said, for some of you, that resistance has been there all along. I'm getting from this Nine of Wands, I don't quite, I don't quite believe you or I don't quite see it that way. I don't quite identify with this, but you know what? I'm, I'm just going to go along with it. But that caused damage to you. Mental, emotional, maybe ended up even calling phys causing physical damage to you, either because you got yourself caught up in a situation where you got, you know, uh, thrown around or some shit, or because of the mental and emotional and maybe even spiritual turmoil or dis-ease that it caused within you, it manifested in some sort of physical symptoms or physical representation of that. That does happen, okay? Dis-ease, disease starts energetically, and then it eventually it manifests in the physical body, all right? And then... Or, or you did identify with this at one point, but then you started to either wise up, grow up, grow out of it, or started to see the detriment. Either way, what, however it is you were either forcing yourself to or still aligning with someone, it became destructive. Nine of Wands. It became something that you had to vehemently, vigorously, constantly maybe defend yourself against. Ultimately, it was getting you nowhere. Knight of Pentacles is reversed. This is stagnancy, okay? You were stuck. 
Maybe you didn't, I'm definitely picking up for some of you, you didn't realize it before. But in real, uh, but be, and that's because you held these same beliefs as well as as long uh, as well as this person or these people. But it was being in this relationship or this circumstance with this person or these people that eventually got you to wise up and recognize how you were just by by identifying with this, by keeping with this hive mind mentality. In some cases, keeping with this status quo, this woe is me. You were being held back. Overall energy is the high priestess. What I'm getting with the high priestess here, you guys, is stepping into the unknown. I kind of feel like this relationship for some of you um, was very restrictive. I feel like somebody here was, uh, uh, this is, again, take it as it resonates. This may be you, this may not be you, but this is part of what I'm feeling in this energy for this collective reading for the sign of Libra. Either one person, somebody, or a, a group, a number of you were involved with an individual who was very lack mentality. I want to say is very hierophant type of energy. Um, is very much wrapped up in the institutions of of the world. Oh, you do have the high priestess here twice. Aha. Okay. You were dealing with someone who was very earthbound. Okay. Um, very much, I keep hearing lack mentality, uh, very much um, only really focused on the physical, only really focused on what it was tangible. They were not very spiritually minded. They were not very magically minded. They were very much wrapped up in the institutions of human society and very much dogmatic in their beliefs in terms of if the institution isn't taking care of you, then you are fucked, basically. That type of energy, that type of lack of mentality. And you now are stepping out of that energy and are now stepping into a more abundant, free-flowing, magical, even spiritual, universal the universe will care for me. I don't have to rely on physicality or physical circumstances the way I used to. The universe will take care of me as long as I stay in alignment and as long as I do what is appropriate for me to do to meet the universe halfway. That's what I'm getting from the high priestess here. You are stepping out of this hierophant, institutional, low vibrational, lack mentality type of energy and you're stepping into a higher awareness. You're stepping into the magic of co-creation with the universe here. Okay, that's beautiful, Libra. You're, you're somebody here or maybe a large group of you that are resonating with this reading are very much becoming way more magical. And that is beautiful. Okay, um, what I'm hearing is last thing I want to clarify for you, Libra, is the Seven of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Libra, please, Spirit. First card is the Three of Swords. Okay. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Libra. Seven of Wands. Ooh, that's good. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Libra, please. What is the Seven of Cups for Libra? That's enough right there. Overall energy is the Page of Swords. Okay, so uh, Libra, the Seven of Cups here represents uh, possibilities. It's not confusion. It's not uh, anything like that. It's literally possibilities, okay? You are open to the possibilities because you are, you are holding your boundaries um, in terms of the heartbreak from the past. I am getting very specifically and this is for those individuals that really resonate with what I was saying about stepping out of the hierophant energy, the, the three-dimensional focus, the institutionalized focus, um, and stepping into the high, high priestess energy, the magic of reality, for lack of a better term. We'll just say it that way. Um, this seven of cups represents the infinite possibilities that will come from that, okay? And you are... First and foremost, you are holding any sort of heartbreaking type of energy at bay. Not even at arm's length, but like as far away from you as possible. 
This person that you may have been dealing with here in this relationship, whether it's romantic or platonic, for some of you, this is your father now that I am picking up on. I don't know why it came through. So there it is. Take it as it resonates. But this person was very much the Debbie Downer type. And ex I'm so sorry for any Debbies or Debras out there. I don't mean to, to offend you or anything, but this person was very much the killjoy. We'll say that instead of Debbie Downer, I'm not going to say Debbie Downer any longer. I'll say killjoy. I hope I remember that in the future. This person was the type of individual to kill your dreams. Okay. To poison your field so that any seed that you planted would die, would not even grow. Okay. Whether they were consciously doing this to keep you attached to them, or this was just that mindset that they were in unbeknownst to them about their own selves because they're lacking in self-awareness, right? Um, you're keeping the heartbreak from the past, the pain at, pay, at bay, and you're keeping any sort of energies that would come in here and try to sabotage and or break your heart or hurt you or derail you in terms of the possibilities that you are manifesting into your life, the magician and the star. You are holding those all at bay, all at arm's length. That is excellent, Libra. I really love this energy for you. All right, last thing I wanna do here in terms of the tarot is I wanna get a closing message for you, Libra. So um, what's the greatest potential? What's to come of all of this, please, Spirit? Is there anything that you wanna say to Libra in terms of Maybe defining this Ace of Pentacles without giving too much away for those cross watchers that just want to sabotage. Mm -hmm. I know you're out there. Anyway, anything, closing messages, final thoughts, any last thing you want to say for Libra in terms of this situation, please, Spirit. All right. Closing messages for Libra, please, Spirit. Closing messages for Libra. The King of Cups, ooh. Closing messages for Libra in terms of this connection or this situation. The Six of Wands, yes. Closing messages for Libra. The Magician, the Five of Cups. Good, okay. And the Knight of, the Knight of Cups. Is, that the over, is the overall energy at the bottom of the deck, Libra? Okay. This is beautiful. Now, um, yes, the Five of Cups did come back out, but Spirit is literally, literally is just saying, we're just acknowledging. We are acknowledging, okay? This is acknowledgement, Libra, all right? We understand for some of you, you're having an easier time with this than others. For some of you, you are crying your eyes out right now, and you have every right to do that, Libra, because that is self awareness you are crying right now you are feeling the pain of this breakup you are feeling the pain of this separation ah i just heard dissolution or illusion okay you're feeling the pain of this because you're recognizing what is going on here you're taking it for what it is and you're accepting the fact that you have to let this go others of you are jumping for joy because you're finally releasing yourselves. And I will say, those of you that are finding it painful right now, you will come to this place of jumping for joy because you will f sufficiently be in the new energy and it's gonna feel so good. It probably already feels good to a certain extent, but that's okay. And for others of you that are jumping for joy right now, I feel like it's the person or the people that you're separating from that are definitely going through this Five of Cups energy here, okay. But what's your closing message here, Libra? You have the King of Cups to the Six of Wands to the Magician. The King of Cups does represent you. It represent you, represents you, excuse me, in your emotional maturity. 100%. Because you know you need to leave this behind. And you have a victory here that's becoming of it. Okay? Right now, this Six of Wands does represent the victory that you have in successfully separating from this situation. But this Six of Wands also is twofold because here you go. There's the magician again. 
You are manifesting something new. You are creating something better for yourself. You are setting out to have better relationships for yourself in the future. That's what this Ace of Pentacles represents. And that also is what this Knight of Cups represents. The Knight of Cups represents you moving forward with your heart from a much stronger heart center. Okay? Much more open heart center. This is beautiful, Libra. I love this for you. I am going to close this reading out for you here with Oracle guidance from the Love Your Inner Goddess Oracle. Yes? As always, you guys, I didn't mention this in the beginning of the reading, but I will say, if you're here still now um, and you are male or you find yourself more masculine, don't worry. This still could resonate for you. This is a collective reading. This is not just for women or the feminine, okay? Here we go. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Closing message, please, Spirit. Four. And five. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Libras, please, Spirit. How do you want to close this reading for Libra? Just one card. Just one card, please, Spirit. One card to close out this reading for Libra. One card, please. There it is right there. Okay. <laughs> card number 19, Spirit Warrior. And on the card it says, Be brave and true. All right. In a reading, this card says, you are earning the right to make significant process in progress Excuse me, in your life. The universe will make certain you are ready to break through by testing your spiritual maturity. Hello, King of Cups, High Priestess. The universe wants to make sure that we are wise enough to use our increased power. I also wanna say our increased, increased wisdom and or knowledge and any other blessings wisely and not hurt ourselves or others. If no one else knows about it, will you behave with integrity and be true to yourself? I'm sorry, even if no one else knows about it, will you behave with integrity and be true to yourself? Will you be kind even when you could be in the position to judge another? Be the best human you can be and know that any tests you are going through are actually predictions of positive changes and divine gifts headed your way. Um, I also want to read the spiritual guidance part of this card. Integrity means being true to yourself. It doesn't matter what anyone else says about it or if their values are different from, to yours. When you are becoming a spirit warrior, you are learning to stand up and fight with love for what matters to you. Sometimes it can, make, it can seem like spirit warriors need to live to a higher standard than others. When you need to be the better person in a situation, King of Cups, it's been set up that way by the universe because you can actually be that person. Not everyone is capable of that. The heavier load falls upon the stronger shoulders, but the more spiritual, resp spiritual responsibility we have, the more we are helped to succeed. The path of the spirit warrior may not seem to be the easiest path sometimes, but actually, it is easier in the long term because not liking or respecting yourself eventually leads to a tragic loss of soul. Our soul brings us creative fire, passionate purpose, and love so strong we want to heal the world, as well as spiritual connection and so much more. It is worth the effort to safeguard it by living in a way that is honorable and respectful even if that means living to a standard that is spiritual rather than ordinary, then that's okay. That's literally what we were talking about here. Somebody is going from 
but standard, even if it means living to a standard that is spiritual rather than ordinary. That's like going from the Hierophant to the High Priestess energy, okay? I am so sorry about this lawnmower that seems to be cutting closer now, but we're gonna wrap this up. But that's going from the Hierophant to the High Priestess, right? Okay. It is more beautiful and special to way, it is a more beautiful and special live, way to live Anyway, let me say that again. It is a more beautiful and special way to live anyway. So fight the good fight, spirit warrior. Great things are headed your way and you are showing yourself worthy and ready for greater success. And that success is contained in this Ace of Pentacles right here. So there you have it, Libra. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.